Another initiative implemented in nearby Gili Trawangan is the Shark Release Program, run by Bali Sharks. Being a surfer from Hawaii, I'd also notice all of the fish markets and these baby sharks everywhere. So what I thought of, I'm like, hey, what if I build a structure that will actually keep fishermen out and protect the sharks? And lo and behold, we, we shot first, spoke later, we built it out. Um, we had no sharks, but we had an area to protect. And what happened was a fisherman showed up with a litter of 10 baby black tips. Um, probably about a half meter, real opaque skin, so they were born within a day or two. They'd been stuck at low tide. So the guy approached us, we obviously bought them, and that was the start of, a, the, basically, I think it's the world's first shark nursery, and it, um, it's turned into a pretty good conservation model. We've been able to save over 100 sharks to date, and uh, the fishermen are starting to respond to the alternative to killing them. Bali Sharks are working with the Gili Shark Foundation and the Gili Eco Trust to release the baby sharks into the surrounding waters. To date, Bali Sharks have rescued a total of 178 sharks and successfully released 50 of them into the protected waters of Gili Trawangan. These included a number of reef sharks, coral cat sharks, bamboo sharks and a number of bamboo eggs which were attached to the bio-rock structures around the island. A tiny juvenile bamboo shark was photographed there shortly after it hatched. Sadly, one coral cat shark was spotted on a barbecue at the local night market sometime after its release. It is a nocturnal species and had been spearfished, so was unlikely caught by accident. It was quickly hidden once interest in its presence was expressed. I mean, all this kind of came by chance, um, by almost accident. But I think Indonesia, with the new president, it, it's, it's, they know there's a problem. Indonesia is the number one country of exporting sharks. Um, there's always going to be black market, but I think they've started to make some arrests, so I think things are changing. As far as us being here, it's really easy to rescue sharks when it's the country that kills the most sharks, so that's not really nothing to brag about. Um, but I think the model, it's a simple model that, that we've done. Unfortunately, NGOs aren't, they're, they have altered interior motives. Um, they haven't really worked with us, but I can see this maybe with a resort, going to resorts and hopefully expanding it. We could expand it to other species or we can expand it um, geographically to other countries. So I hope it'll keep keep going forward and um, you know it, it does get positive response from fishermen, from tourists, from politicians. Um, so yeah, you know, we're, we're just gonna keep seeing what we can do.